the cross bar. And joining us today on the Red Devils pregame show is Red Devils junior Joe Accomando. Big one today, Joe. It's the Group 4 semifinals against Westfield. What should we look for from the Red Devils today? Uh, we should look for an all-around great performance, good passing play, quick, and just quick starts off the ball. Now, Westfield, this is these are two teams that appear on paper to be very evenly matched. But you guys have been in these kind of games before. How do you go back to the, the tight games, the tight matchups, and learn from what you did in those spots? Uh, we just learn that we have to improve on what spots, and we practice that in practice. And then we bring it to the game and just show them what we worked on. So, Joe, it's your first year at the varsity level, a junior, and we can say that about almost all of your teammates this year. There was some uncertainty about this team heading into this year. How did this season start gelling for you guys in such a way? Um, well, we all just worked together. We became super close, which is a big factor of our success. And that helps us on the field and off because we can connect and no one's ever fighting on the field or anything. Joe, that's easier said than done though. At what point of this year did you feel like, hey, this group is working, we got something going? Uh, well, after our, we started off the season preseason, all right, got a big win over Del Barton, and then our Pingree loss really set us up for success because after that we started working and working. So much you learn from a game like Pingree, which is one of the best games I've seen in any sport here. I've said that a few times. What did you gain from that loss? Uh, what we gained from the loss is that we just need to work, and that really showed our potential. So, Joe, you're heading into the postseason now. We're in the middle of it, this thing. This is exciting time around here. Has it lived up to what you expected heading into your first playoff at Central? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready and we're going to keep going, too. So, What do you think will be the keys to today's game against Westfield? Um, the key is just to play fast. The Westfield's a very fast-paced team, so we just need to keep up with them and just beat them. And that was Red Devils junior Joe Accomando joining us. Stay tuned for Red Devils soccer here on the HCTV live stream. Welcome to HCTV. Today's broadcast, boy soccer. And today, it is a good one. Hutter and Central Red Devils hosting the Westfield Blue Devils. I'm Bryce Cohen alongside my partner in crime today, Tyler Rodriguez. Tyler. What can we expect today out of this star-studded matchup? Oh man, I'm really excited for this one. These two teams, semifinal round, third round of the NJSIA North Jersey Section 2 Group 4 Tournament. Chance to be state champions. 100 Central, third in the state. Westfield ranked number nine. This is the second seed in 100 and Central against the third seed in Westfield. This is really going to be a, a great matchup and I'm really looking forward to this one. Get this, the last two times, these the last time these two teams faced was Exactly on this night 11 years ago and guess who got an assist current Vancouver Whitecaps FC forward and one that went to 100 and central Brian White so They won 2-1 on that night. It should be another close one here tonight I expect it to be low scoring as well Westfield only conceded 10 goals this year 100 and central only conceded 9 So this is gonna be a huge game it's gonna be a battle of the defense and certainly up top a lot of players to watch out for that can really get at the back lines and any team could get the early goal here it could really change the way this game is shaped out. Absolutely. As we were talking about it in the booth earlier before the broadcast started, we expect this one to go pretty deep in overtime. I could just imagine it being a 0-0 score going into halftime. Obviously, I'd love it for Hunter and Central to get ahead early, but given the defenses by both of these teams, it could be a very close matchup going into the end of this game, and it's just going to be a matter of who can come out on top and last the longest. So it's going to be a thriller today as both of the teams are huddling up and getting ready for this beautiful night here at 
Stewart Field on the turf tonight. It's a it's a great weather night. Better than last Tuesday when we were here. Yeah, it was a very sure. chilly one. Also remember, winner of this game plays the winner of uh, Scotch Plains Fanwood and Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the one seed, Scotch Plains Fanwood, the f five seed. That game currently is in, in the penalty shootout, so we'll let you know what happens with this one, who's going to win or um, how that one gets out, but we'll certainly let you know about that one. And if but Scotch Plains wins, that means that the winner of this one will host at their home turf, which could be huge for that state final. Yeah, but I'll focus on this one here tonight. As number 10, Matias Abeleas, the talisman for the Blue Devils, set to kick this one off. He has seven goals and three assists on, this, on the year, Abeleas. Also, watch out their goalie, Ryan Friedberg. Cornell commit. Big reason why they only conceded 10 goals this year. Should be a great game. For the Red Devils, Count Armitage in between the sticks. Nor Basha Munich will play as the two center backs with Brandon Michaels getting the nod at right back today. It's been a battle with him and Nick Patel all year in that position. Jack Hurling keeps his spot at left back. Alejandro Pintado will play as a six. Zach Perrin and Colin Adams will play as the more advanced roles in the midfield. Thomas Schreiber from the right after he scored two goals. And Nick Riga from the left. And of course, the one and only Evan Vasquez up top. The man with 15 goals and six assists this year. As Pintado clears this one away. Early on, quick action. Both teams getting to it quick. I just reminded a winner of this game, if Elizabeth is to win, that game will be at Elizabeth as the Blue Devils have a free kick here. Early on, pretty big opportunity here for the Blue Devils. And this one's pinged in. It's hurling good header away. Pintado chasing this one down. And that one's hit in there. And it's Armitage with the save. That was number seven, Andrew Masik there for the Blue Devils. Another dangerous player. Six goals and six assists. And early on, the Blue Devils are starting to get Callan Armitage into the game. Yeah, the Blue Devils are a team that certainly doesn't have one player with loads of goals. They have a lot of players up top that they share the goals a lot. Masik with six. Arbelaez with seven. They have and so Chris Chichia with five goals as well. Loads of players in there with three goals. And defensively, they're solid. So this will be a difficult game for the Red Devils. Of course, Evan Vasquez up top for the Red Devils has 15 goals and six assists. He certainly will be the man that will be most likely to score here for the Red Devils. That's a great take there by Abeleas, but it's Colin Adams with a great challenge. And now Armitage will clear this one away. Fantastic play there by Armitage to clear that one. Schreiber now pressing. He broke his four-game drought at the weekend by scoring a brace against Bridgewater Raritan to give the Red Devils the win in that one and send them through to this game. He has eight goals on the season as well as Armitage again has to clear pressure early on for the Red Devils. Yeah, definitely early on. Blue Devils putting the Red Devils in a very defensive position here. Red Devils haven't been able to get it onto the other side of the turf pretty much all game so far. Despite it only being two and a half minutes in, you could already tell the tempo that the Blue Devils are setting here. Westfield wants to come out and strike first. Vasquez, great turn by him. He scored as well in that game against Bridgewater Raritan. Had a great goal that was assisted by, sorry, his goal is not assisted. Ryan Norbus did get an assist too to Thomas Schreiber. And then of course, Matt Davis on the bench also scored in beauty in that game as well. So goals, a lot of players in form here for the Red Devils. Expect goals from them today. Michaels throws that one in. And that'll be a corner for the Red Devils. Awesome job by Vasquez to make sure that one didn't get off of him. And another great opportunity here for the Red Devils to get their offense kicked off here. That'll be Colin Adams. Another player that's been in great form for the Red Devils. He's over to take this one. He has two goals and four assists. Colin Adams this year. He's looked really good as well. That one's hitting low. Cleared away by the first man. It'll be hurling little shove in the back and he'll win the free kick. That's Chris Chichia there with a little push. And Adams with the corner kick. Couldn't quite get it off the ground. Not the best of corner kicks, but in the end, 
Still got the call there. And Red Devils will fight for possession once again here as Hurling returns to favor there on Chichi and it will be a free kick for the Blue Devils. Chichia is really selling this one here. Yeah, he does certainly look shaken up. We'll see yeah. if he can continue. Hopefully all is well there, and hopefully it's nothing too serious on that play as Harling really returned the favor on that one. Yeah, for sure. As the clock is stopped here, you're going to have the trainer come out and check him out. But early on so far, the momentum has just been shifting back and forth here. Both teams trying to get their offense kicked off. And like we mentioned earlier on the broadcast, it's a battle of who's going to fight, uh, strike first and defend their lead. And both teams right off the bat looking like they want to be the first to score. Vasquez almost had an opportunity there. It was knocked off by the defender to be a corner kick. After the Red Devils had the corner kick, we've had these two calls here. Yeah, both teams very dynamic going forward. But at the back, Munich's in. Munich and Norbosch are very solid defensively, and of course, Westfield only conceded 10 this year, so it certainly will be difficult for either team to break the deadlock here early on. As Munich heads that one away, he's been really solid so far, Dylan Munich this whole year. A great servant he's been for the Red Devils in his four years here. Of course, his first year on varsity, and he's adjusted really well. Norbosch, not the best clearance. Armitage. Able to get that one away a little further. Yeah, smart play by Armitage to just stop the momentum there. Get that fast break away. As a Blue Devil opportunity is once again striking upon us here. It's Andrew Masik to take. He'll be playing in college at the end of this year. Long throwing in. Munich's away. Back to Masik. Schreiber with the block. It's Pintado. Still in there for Arbaleas. The hit in. Armitage can dive on that one comfortably. Arbaleas getting a sniff, getting a sniff of goal early on there. Yeah, great job by the defense set up by the Red Devils there. Made it so that the, the shot opportunity was so contested. That Armitage just had to sit on that one here as the Blue Devils are fighting for it once again. That's Arbaleas there with the block. It's Norbosch for Pintado. Good feet by him. Finds Colin Adams for Zach Perrin. He had an assist last time out for Thomas Schreiber's first goal against Bridgewater Raritan. Schreiber on the cover again. And Munitz away. And Pintado. Right into the back there as he goes over. Yeah, Pintado landed face first there. Not a great look there early on as both teams are starting to get a little chippy here. And you could tell that both teams got a lot at stake here. Yeah, Evident. Matthew Lynch there with the challenge on the back of Pintado. He has three goals on this season, Matthew Lynch. And they're not afraid to go in hard there on Pintado when he's in there. Harry Kane-esque with that challenge. Here's Norbosch. Great ping down the field. No one on it, however. Heron pressing off Schreiber's back, and it will be a throw in for the Blue Devils. Yeah, it looked like Norbosch was trying to get that one down to Riga, but just couldn't get to the spot as the Blue Devils really swarmed him there. As this game is starting to kick off here in this first half, the Red Devils' bleachers are starting to fill up here, getting the energy here for that playoff energy game. Minutes away. Perrin for Schreiber off the neck. Wasn't the best first touch from him. He'll chase. It's Vasquez and Schreiber there. Both teams looking for the call there. Yeah, it's a three ref setup tonight, so hope to see a better ref game with the three refs. Certainly easier for everyone. See what the call is here. Looks like the ref very mad at Coach Smith, or I think that's Coach Amaya there. Telling him to be quiet. Andrew Masik again to take this throw in. Long throwing in. 
Schreiber back in the air. Norbosh away. Sabalea has to win the header. Pintado more convincing. Michael's defending. He does well. Munich did well to get that one away. His Perrin flicked on. Shriver off the thigh. It's a little heavy. Pokes this one towards Vasquez. And it will go out for a Blue Devils throwing again. Early on, now the Red Devils have started to retaliate here. But both teams still looking to get their first strike, first goal. And the Blue Devils are the only ones to get any shot opportunities off, making Callan Arbitage work. This one, cleared long. Norbash and Hurling jumping. It's about the last second turn. Masik now. Whipped in. And that one's headed wide there by Matthew Lynch. And it's interesting, these two teams faced off in preseason and like I've been saying, defensively, both teams very good, but it was a crazy scoreline there. It was 5-3. Westfield ended up winning it. Of course, Red Devils did not have Alejandro Pintado in that game, so definitely a huge blow for them as he was away in Spain. But this one certainly could be go either way. It could be low scoring. It could be high scoring with the dynamic attacks we see. But early on, it's been difficult for either team to create chances as Armitage pings this one. Off Schreiber's shoulder. Masik. Riga pressing. Friedberg now. The Cornell commit. Central regains shape. Ping long. Frabaleas off the chest. Only found Pintado, however. And this one's back for. Norbosh, who just had to clear that one away. I think he was looking for Callan Armitage there. Pintado left it a little short, however. Yeah, smart play by Norbash. Get that one away from the goal early on. Do not want any mistakes of the goal here. Arbelias was there, applying the pressure. Masik throws in long to Arbelias. This one, overhead kick. Shots in. And this one will stay in. Masik keeps it. Hurling pressing. Another ball in there. And Schreiber does well. Chases one down. However, he, he's beat in and it's Munitz that eventually clears the line for the Red Devils. It's Masik there with a couple good crosses and he's over to take this throw in now. Yeah, Schreiber's fortunate there's a second line there as he got beat a little bit on the edge. Fortunate enough though, the clear sets up another Blue Devils opportunity here and they've been looking aggressive on their side of the field. Everyone back defending except for Vasquez for the Red Devils. Another throwing in there. Back out for Masik. Ping in there. And lack of communication. Hurling just has to get this one away. And Tab Elias on that. Red Devils get the call here, but Armitage is not looking too happy there. Hurling. And they're both of them in a little bit of an argument there. It was... It was a little bit of a lack of communication on hurling down the line for Colin Adams. The Hunter and Warren Sussex MVP, Colin Adams. Norbosh away. Abelias in there. He can turn. Pinged in. Armitage again, a little tentative off his line as hurling away. It's a throw now for Westfield. Masik again to take this one. He throws it in almost like a line drive. Norbosh away. Colin Adams off his chest. It's Schreiber up into the air. Munich chases this one down and just does enough to get it for another throw in here. Masik again over to take. A lot of miscommunications early on with Callum Armitage. Haven't seen a lot of that this year. Could be a little worrisome if they can't get it together here because all it takes is one mistake and they will get behind Armitage and that would not be good early on here. This one thrown in again. Colin Adams just about keeps it. Can turn there. Ping for Riga. His touch is perfect. 
Here's time and space. Nick Riga driving and now. He got Vasquez, Vasquez down. to his left. Nick Riga, long touch, and ref tells him to get up. His touch certainly got away from him. Looked to be a foul. What a challenge by Dylan Munitz, however. Absolutely. And I agree with both of those no calls there. Great job by Munitz to respond there. And this game is very stretched as Riccardi will take this throw for the Blue Devils. That Munitz is having to make a challenge like that. Usually you never want to make a challenge like that if you're a defender, but he just had to slide in at the crucial moment. Here's Colin Adams. Michaels. Down the line. Back towards Colin Adams. Colin Adams starting to get into this game. Now Pintado recovers it beautifully. Pintado, little one-two with Riga. For Michaels now. Long ball in. And no trouble there for Friedberg. It, was, it wasn't not the best cross there from Brandon Michaels, but it was a good bit of passage play from the Red Devils. Good passage from them as the Blue Devils now can control. And a great way to respond. And the Red Devils just setting traps to start the press here. And he passes down the side. They converge. Riccardi on that. Riccardi back. Vasquez is there. And Noah Fisher there to battle a little bit with Vasquez. Both of them exchanging words there. Yeah, it was Vasquez. Great interception there on Riccardi's pass. And it will be, I think, a free kick here for the Red Devils. As he wants to talk to the captains now. Game's getting a little chippy for the refs in these games. It's very important that they do not lose control of the games by not calling fouls or giving cards. Yeah, absolutely. This game so far has been a lot like Newton's third law. Every action has its equal and opposite reaction, and it's been a lot of back and forth action here to start. Both teams responding when something big happens to them, and it's been evident that the refs are not calling some of these petty plays here. But this is a huge opportunity here and if the Red Devils can capitalize on it here, it could be a great way to set up the rest of the match. And hurling now is loads of men in there in the box. And watch out for Pintada way in the back. Norba, sorry, that's towards Norbosh from hurling. He does just enough to bring this one down, and he'll win the throw in as it will be. I think they'll want hurling on this or no, they'll give it to Brandon Michaels. Long throwing is very important in high school and college. To, it's almost like an extra corner. And we'll look to throw this one in long again. Everyone up, except for Pintado and Minas for the Red Devils. And of course Armitage. Cleared away, Parent gets his body and just does enough. Norbosh, great sliding challenge. And again, Riga flicks it on. Here's Evan Vasquez, has a hit. Friedberg, great save, and he's on it there. And Evan Vasquez just couldn't control it off the volley. It was a great little flick by Nick Riga. And absolutely amazing play there by Friedberg, but Red Devils are adding on pressure now. And Nick Riga back from his illness that he missed in the round of 16 game, so he's Started tonight, got his first start since that little illness, but he's coming off early on here for Adam Cook, who has been in good form as well. Of course, Riga has seven goals and four assists this year, but like I said, he had gotten sick, missed around round of 16, played against Bridgewater Raritan in the quarterfinals, but now he starts his first game in the semifinals and comes off here with 24 minutes left to play in this first half. Schreiber pressing. Michaels as well to get a foot in. Michaels again. Ricciardi in there. He gives it away. Here's Colin Adams. For Vasquez. Con he's so calm on Evan Vasquez. Here's Pintado for Cook now. Tries to go down the line, and he will win the throw in for the Red Devils. Vasquez is just so patient when he gets possession. Never, setting up plays Never here. panics, does he? Fantastic job to start up the Red Devils offense once again here. Surprise here. Perrin coming out early for Luke Barardi. I think Coach Smith wants a little bit more defensive work rate, maybe a little more physicality in there. 
Smart idea to get some fresh legs in early. Yeah, Luke Barotti does more of a defensive midfielder, so he maybe wants more of a defensive look in the midfield. Of course, Zach Perrin, very dynamic, can get forward a lot more than Luke Barotti, but this game may be calling for a more of a defensive style midfielder. And it looks like he'll go with the double pivot with Pintado and Luke Barotti and let Colin Adams play as the 10. But we'll see how that pans out here. Friedberg now. Ping forward again. Great little flick that is. And Schreiber. And somehow that one's not called there as a foul. And it's a throw in for the Red Devils. Yeah, I don't quite understand why the refs are not calling some of these if they don't want the game to get out of hand. The only way they'll retaliate is by, you know, responding with a similar play here. Yeah, it looked like a certain foul there. as a little flick in behind there by Lynch to Arbeleas. And his Masik as he had this one. Colin Adams now. Vasquez. And rare his first touch gets out of, out of hand. Lynch sets this one back towards Abelias. Long throw again towards Lynch. Abelias is on that. And he's called for the foul there on Dylan Munitz. Lynch and Arbelias really combining early on here. Of course, they're them two are the danger man along with Masik for this Blue Devils offense going forward. And it has to be said, we've seen a lot more of them than we have of Evan Vasquez early on here. But that can change in blink of an eye as this one's flicked on by Vasquez. And Cook couldn't quite get there in time. Michaels for Berardi. Here's Schreiber to turn. A little step over. A little touch and tackle action as well, and eventually he stopped. Got a bit of possession play by the Blue Devils now. Cook will press. Ricciardi now. This one ping long. Hurling away. Berardi off the chest as well. Here's Colin Adams, and there's Luke Berardi that was caught late there. Yeah, Berardi took it. Bit of a hit to the side there as we're just about halfway done with this first half here. Nick oh. Riga set to come in for the Red Devils as well. It looks like Kevin Murtaugh warming up. Tyler, after 20 minutes of action here in the beginning of this first half, how are you feeling about the way this game has been moving so far? Oh, Schreiber there. Flicks it on. I think it's certainly been a back and forth action. Early on, it could go either way. It's been cagey, but it's definitely too tight to call at the moment. It's Masik in control. Ricciardi back with it again. He skips by Cook. And he's fouled by Pintado. And Cook did not like that one, that's for sure. Yeah, certainly, I think it was called on Pintado. There was Cook that got beaten there by the number two, the right back for the Blue Devils, Danny Ricciardi. Mike Blake is not kicking this till he gets the look that he wants. That one's in long. And away from Armitage's net there. And Westfield out shooting the Red Devils as Coach Smith wants to make a change. Nick Regal playing the number nine role as Evan Vasquez comes off the field. A little bit of a surprise, but a different look for the Red Devils. Let's see what he wants to do, Coach Smith here. And Armitage, after facing a lot of pressure in the beginning of this first half, has kind of had less of pressure applied to him in this latter half. But great job of the Red Devils to keep him out of the center of attention early on here. Throwing now, Michaels again. For Nick Riga, Colin Adams, it's a good take. Does well to draw the foul. The Red Devils look to set this one up as Jack Hurling comes over to take.
Everyone up except for Armour Toots, Michaels, and Munich for the Red Devils. Norbosch in there. Schreiber as well. Riga. All the tall players in there for the Red Devils. Hurling two arms raised. Great whippage on that. Just evaded Riga. Here's Colin Adams. Berardi. Hurling in there again. This one's cleared away. For Red Devils throwing now. Hurling will run over to take. And now, once again, it's where they're going to try to get it to their tall player, Schreiber, out there. Look, they may play the short game a little bit here. Hurling long throw for Pintado. Great flick for Riga. Riga has a hit, and it was just always something difficult to control those half volleys. It was Riga who checked in. Pintado took over the center striker role and almost worked with that little simple rotation as Vasquez comes back in. Yeah, for Thomas Schreiber, and it looks like he will play as a number nine, and Riga will move out to that right wing position. Yeah, just a sensational setup there for Riga. Just couldn't quite get to him in time to have a nice look there, and skies that one right over the goal. That was Pintado, who got an assist last time out. He has two assists now on the year. More of a defensive player, but we've seen him really get forward with Luke Berardi in this game for the Red Devils, and he's really played as more of an eight or a ten. Less of a six as we normally see him. Munitz has to slide again, and he's brilliant in doing that. And now he clears. Great play from Dylan Munitz. It's Vasquez off his head. Riga couldn't quite control. It's Munitz's first touch got away from him. Sabalias on that. Great turn by him now. He's lynching behind, and he's offside. Sabalias with a good bit of defending. He got in behind there. Sorry, played the ball in behind for Lynch, but he was offside. And as you predicted earlier, Tyler, no score up until this point. I don't know how soon we could be seeing a, a goal here, but it's definitely been a back and forth action. Both teams have been getting good looks, but nothing really has come out of that so far. I, I think it's been a very defensive heavy match so far. Well, these Blue Devils, they did beat Edison last time out in the quarterfinal matchup Thursday on Thursday, no November 8th, 2021. And it was Masik and Arbelias who got the goals. And they've been the danger man early on for the Blue Devils. It was also Masik with the assist in there as well. So them two certainly have been very important for them up top for the Blue Devils. And we've seen a lot of them early on here. And it's again Arbelias on that. And it's Masik on it. Touch inside. Lynch just got away from him. And Vasquez goes down in a heap. And he'll win the free kick. And I don't know about you, Bryce, but I think those two up top, Masik and Arbelas for the Blue Devils, certainly look dangerous early on here. Definitely. They've threatened a few times early on here, but the great job by that front line of defense by the Red Devils to lock him up. It's definitely going to be a, a tight one going into the end of this first half with just about 15 minutes left. But It's been a great battle to watch early on for sure. Yeah, sensational match all around. Armitage again collects. And he kicks this one long. Vasquez flicks this one on. Cook could be in behind here. And it would just go a little too far for him. But his press does well for him to win the free kick. That was... Evan Tompkins just had to clear. Yeah, the speedy cook just couldn't quite get to there on time. Great setup. Just just missed the mark. Maritime now will come in left-footed fullback for the Red Devils. He'll play in the left-back role. And Hurling will come out into the right-back position. And momentum have seemed to switch a little bit from early on where the Blue Devils were seeming to dominate time of possession. The Red Devils coming in here and getting a lot of good looks here. It's getting Pintado getting really forward. Not you see him this far up the field. He's getting up there now. He's playing in a more of an advanced role. Thought it would be a double pivot with him and Luke Berardi, but we've seen him get up a lot. And he's in the box again now. It's his false for Colin Adams off the volley. That's deflected. Will be a throw in again for Kevin Murtaugh. Yeah, and it's definitely something we got to just uh, trust Coach Smith with. He knows something that we definitely don't. 
And if the Red Devils lose tonight, this could be Coach Smith's, oh, this will be, sorry, Coach Smith's last game ever for the Red Devils. Vasquez goes down, and somehow the foul is called against him. That look for sure could have been a PK. But I think the ref saw maybe called it a dive on Evan Vasquez. I thought for sure it was a, a f at least a foul on the Blue Devils there. And you would think with three refs, they'd be making some of these calls a little bit better. But it's definitely something you got to look out for. Cook, Cook, Riga, all talking to the referee now. I could tell you, wherever you go, high school refs usually do make some questionable decisions. That was another one there. And it's been, they've let a lot go tonight for sure. Yeah, Vasquez, great man for not letting his words get the best in there because I would have chewed out the referee. As Merta. Usually good from corners, that time not the best. It's Ryan Friedberg, the Cornell commit, that can claim that one. The Blue Devils do look to play at the back every now and then. And Pintado, so strong, great turn by him for Vasquez. That one rolls all the way through. Friedberg, long ping in there. Munich jumps. Masik has this one forward. Is Norbosh away? Abelias. And Norbosh goes in there. And certain foul there on Abelias. Just a little too quick there for Ryan Norbosh. And Abelias, not quick to get up. Definitely sold that one there. Another player that's playing in college on this Westfield Blue Devils roster. It's Masik, another one there. We'll take this free kick as Norbosh has to come off after he got that yellow card. It will be Akamondo, the man they call Big Joe, coming into this one in the center back rolls a three man wall of Berardi, Merton Vasquez. Armitage trying to organize it. And this once again, pressure position. here on Armitage. Maybe they could go for goal. So the angle is not really good for a cross. So you think maybe have a hit with some sort of knuckleball technique or a little chip in behind. We'll see what they try to do. Could this be the first scoring opportunity that the Blue Devils capitalize on here? And a little bit of a delay here. And ref wants the ball moved a little further back. The pressure is on here for this Red Devils defense. Can they hold up here in a big opportunity like this in the first half? I think maybe Mastic could chip this one in. We'll see what he wants to do. Or could go from a screamer. Masik hits this one. And it was always sailing there. And the senior, Masik just cannot get any opportunity with that one. No, well, he went for the worldie and it didn't come off. And it's a goal kick for Count Armitage now. And Armitage definitely breathing a sigh of relief there as the pressure was definitely on him. Armitage, beautiful ping now. Pintado does brilliantly. Again, into the air. It's Murtaugh with a little push on Masik and the ref. It's, again, it's a little odd call. He, he Letting a lot go and then they call something very minuscule like that. But it's just difficult to see what they're trying to do with this game tonight, the referees. And one man won't with Vasquez. It's Blake to kick this one long for the Blue Devils. It's a beautiful ping in there. Joey Accomando away. Abelias. This touch wasn't quite sticky enough. Yeah, but back to that call. Not quite sure why they'd call a push, a push off there on Murtaugh when they haven't been calling some of the other bigger calls uh, early on in this match. Seems a little, little odd to say the least, but... We'll just see how that develops on throughout the game. 
Pintado flicked in for Vasquez. Did well to get his body in, Evan Vasquez. Fellman in the game now. Couldn't quite evade that defender. He came on for Nick Riga. Ben Feldman, he'll play off the right. His speed certainly can be killer for the Red Devils. It's Armitage. Punts this one up long towards Feldman. He leaps. That's Berardi. Ben Feldman again for Colin Adams. Back for him. Now he can stretch his legs. Ben Feldman was just a little too far. They can get him in behind. He's certainly a threat. Throwing now for the Blue Devils. It's decibels rise here at Stewart Field. Late in this first half. It's Hurling will step back here and he'll win the throw. And there was Lynch that just couldn't keep that one in. Berardi for Hurling. Another throw in for the Red Devils. Hurling throws this one long. Vasquez off his chest. Here's Berardi. Pintado. Couldn't quite find Colin Adams. Berardi. Feldman. Great ball in behind for Colin Adams. Colin Adams in. And he puts that one in behind. What a goal by the 100 Central Red Devils. Absolute slide rule pass there by Ben Feldman. And Colin Adams could do nothing but score. 100 Central Red Devils won. Westfield Blue Devils nil. Just an absolute amazing play there by Feldman. He gets a ball to Adams. Adam, the incredible playmaker that he is, slid in there and just got an amazing goal there. And that that just slid right by Friedberg. Just a sensational play there. All around by the Red Devils to set up a 1-0 lead early. And Colin Adams with his third goal on the year. And it was just a uh, he's just so calm in front of the goal. It was absolute class finish by Colin Adams with the ball by Ben Feldman was as good as you would like. Sensational job all around. De esque from Ben Feldman. And as Pintado in again. All of a sudden, the energy here has changed. Central now leading by one. Oh, and it's Ricciardi on the ground for the Blue Devils. And tell what that goal, you could watch that one again and again and again. And it was Ben Feldman there. It's a beautiful ball. It's pure class from Ben Feldman. Just yeah. Doesn't get much better. That's his second assist in the year. Colin Adams, his third goal in the year. What a year he's having. Two players I've really enjoyed watching, and it's Colin Adams who had a bit of a quiet first half. He's been in the game, had some nice touches, but he was there when it mattered most for his team. Not to say he's played bad. He's played really well, but that goal was really important and certainly highlights his performance here in the first half. And I think about how the Red Devils were playing in this first half. It was not a matter of if, but a matter of when they'll get some sort of goal on the board and Adams was the one to finish it off there and just sensational job and he really left his mark here in this first half. Tarbaleas now on the half turn. Couldn't quite keep it in there, Matias Tarbaleas for the Blue Devils but Matias Tarbaleas certainly the one there for the Blue Devils. Have to watch out for him as again the ref stopping this one as it's thrown for Hurling. And again, Vasquez, he checks in, not afraid to let Colin Adams get in behind him. It's Murtaugh away. Pintado, nice little sombrero. Here's Colin Adams. Back for Armitage. He can control. Long ping out now. Colin Adams, absolute velvet first touch from him. And he's fouled now. Colin Adams just feeling it right now. Just love watching him. There's nothing else I could say. Just love watching him play. It's a great touch from him. And Blake of the Blue Devils just applying quite a lot of pressure to Adams there and given considering the amount of threat he is in front of that goal. Akamondo with the free kick now. Pinged in long. It's Friedberg. And Cook almost Claims had that there. Off the half volley now. So it's Masik. Joe Akamondo does well. Pintado for Cook. He won't keep it. And they're saying Cook lost it there. Ricciardi with the throw for the Blue Devils now. Long. Akamondo away. Ricciardi back in there. Masik. 
poked through, hurling the recipient. Pings this one long, it's a little bit of a deflection. Berardi. This one's in behind that for Abelias. He has a hit, and it's Armitage. Makes a bit of a mess of it, and it's Munich has to get another one away. Tell you what, Cal Armitage hasn't played bad, but certainly hasn't been his normal self here in the first half, and it was Arbelias there getting in behind, and expect a goalkeeper of Cal Armitage's quality to claim that one comfortably, but made a bit of a mess of it, and it's Masik now with the throw in. In there, that one's headed there, nearly creeped in. I think it was Arbelias. Almost put that one in. Sorry, I don't think it was him, but it almost went in. Town Armitage's far post there. Yeah, pressure second up now on Armitage. And if one gets by him, it'll be a tie game before the first half ends, which would not be a, a good look for this Red Devil squad as they would love to maintain a 1 0 lead going to the second half. But Armitage just definitely not looking like his normal self in this past few minutes. Yeah, it was Noah Fisher, the center back, with three goals on the year, trying to add his fourth. Armitage pings the forward. Martal leaped in behind now. Arbelias is there. His first touch is good. Munitz, what a block that is. It's back from Arbelias. And Munitz fired up. He just and took that one like a somehow, absolute champion. And Munitz, tell you what, the challenges he's made tonight have saved goals for the Red Devils. And again, he does it. And I don't think Coach Smith is happy whatsoever that one simple ball can beat the whole defense and you can see he's up now from his seat on the cooler certainly yelling they're not happy with his defense there and again the, the sliding challenge is good and you know, it pumps everyone up it's a great challenge but you don't want to have to make it as many times as Dylan Munitz has had tonight as Richardi has to there's enough there to get it but it's Vasquez who strips him Evan Vasquez little drop of the shoulder and Danny Riccardi did well Vasquez looking for a call there. Couldn't get anything there. It's a good challenge by Ricciardi, but it's back for Cook. For Hurling. Played forward. Could break for Vasquez. He'll get there first. Keeps his body in. Once again, Vasquez. The patience by Vasquez. Pintado. Has Masic behind him. Cook plays this one in. And couldn't find Feldman. It's the Blue Devils the other way. This pass is played a little errantly there by Feldman, and it's a throw-in for the Westfield Blue Devils. And the dying embers here in this first half. Feldman pressing. Ping long. Masik will leap. Armitage calls away from Murto. He'll control. Tries to find Cook. Just, just enough, Kevin Murtaugh. Colin Adams. Take a picture of that. Rare, his first touch isn't perfect. And all the way back for Friedberg now. And I can imagine Coach Smith at the half is going to make a lot of adjustments here to really s solidify this defense for the second half. Yeah, see if we see Zach Perrin a little more in the second half. Haven't seen him at all here. Oh, sorry, haven't seen him. a lot of him. So far in this first half, he got subbed on, subbed off. Of course, he has Matt Davis he can roll the dice with as well. A lot of options, Nick Riga, Thomas Schreiber on the bench for them. Loads of options for the Red Devil, Saul Vargas as well, Jonathan Shez. So we'll see what he does as Masik takes this one down. And it's a throw in here. As Masik will take it. Another long one in there. Colin Adams on to this. Vasquez. Back for Colin Adams. Long in there. Richardi chases this one down. They wanted a handball. They won't get it. Back for Friedberg. Long ping. A commander as well as Masik. He can turn. Right into Pintado. Another great recovery by him. And he splits too. Here's Colin Adams. For Cook. Great challenge that is there by Noah Fisher. Just did enough. And I think they'll bring it back as he played advantage. So it'll be a free kick here for the Red Devils. Good touch there by the referee to give this one to Joey Accomando, who'll be looking his lips at the possibility of pinging this one long. And the clock is ticking down here. Less than a, a minute left to play here. Last opportunity here. 
Akamana long ping in there. And for the goal of Friedberg's quality, love to claim those all day. Again off the half volley. Akamando, Masik, Long, Armitage. Whoa, hold. His mom never likes it when he does that, she told me. He says never take it off the chest, but he does it regardless. Drops it and pings this one long. And that's just about going to do it here in this first half. Here's Akamondo gets it away, and his first half was back and forth, very tight for the Red Devils. Just edge it with an absolute world-class goal from Colin Adams, assisted by Ben Feltman as his 100 and Central Red Devils won. Westfield Blue Devils nil. We will see you in about 10 minutes for the start of the second half here in this semifinal round of the NJSIAA North Jersey Section 2 Group 4 Tournament. Welcome back to HGTV's broadcast today of boys soccer. Today, once again, we have the Hutter and Central Red Devils hosting the Westfield Blue Devils. And after that first half, Hutter and Central leads the Westfield Blue Devils 1-0. Tyler, what did you see in that first half that was notable for both sides? Well, definitely back and forth action, very cagey, very physical. But tell you what, the goal by Colin Adams, just the ball by Ben Feldman was absolutely exquisite. And the finish was made super easy by the ball and it, but it still was taken beautifully and it was just a great goal and I look forward to seeing more beautiful bits of play by the Red Devils in the second half but also for the Blue Devils Matias Arbelias the man to watch out for them number 10 and Andrew Masik certainly number 7 been very involved for the Blue Devils in there also watch Chris Chichia starting on this left hand side for the Blue Devils and it's Nick Riga starting on the right-hand side. Zach Perrin back in the game. It's Luke Berardi and, Col and uh, Alejandro Pintado in there. Colin Adams will get a rest. And it's Ben Feltman that will keep his place after a brilliant performance from him in the first half. And I think it's Thomas Shriver that I have got word from his dad that he may have picked up a little bit of an ankle injury. So we'll see if he plays a part in the second half. And, of course, Ed Vasquez starting through the middle. And the back four stays the same as it ended and of course, Count Armitage in between the sticks for the Red Devils. As Pintado heads this one forward for the man they call Nicky Mouse, Nick Riga. Back from his illness. He can turn now. Ball played in. Feldman off the post. Got under the header, but nearly creeped in. And he'll be out for a Red Devils throw in. Yeah, one word I would use to describe Central's playing the second half here. That's got to be his patience. Wait for the opportunities to be there and capitalize on them when they're there. Almost had a goal right there. That would have really been a great cushion, but just missed. But another opportunity here for Central. Hurling long throw flicked by Evan Vasquez. And uh, Cornell commit Friedberg. Plays this one long. Masik Arbelias commits the foul there. I think it was Luke Berardi. Oh, no, that was... Kevin Murtaugh Murta, going yeah. down there. And so Zach Perrin back into this game. Didn't see a lot of him in the first half. It was a bit of a shock. They have Luke Brody, very defensive midfield, and they have Pintado who can do a little bit of everything, but mainly plays as a six. We thought we would see a double pivot when with both of them in the game, but it's been Pintado getting further forward and letting either Colin Adams or Zach Perrin, in this case, play as the 10 or play in that free roam position. But we'll see what they do. I'm... Um, Certain that Luke Berardi will play as a six. We'll probably see Alejandro Pintado get further forward, maybe as the eight. But we'll see how that one progresses as Hurling takes this throw in towards Riga and couldn't quite steer that one towards the net. And as Thomas Schreiber going through his paces on the side, so too Brendan Michaels. As Schreiber got a little bit of an ankle knock, taking it very gingerly at the moment. Michaels there as well. Looks like Nick Patel seems to be stripping down as well. Didn't see any much of him or any of him really in the first half. Could be getting some defensive substitutions in here in the second half. And long clearance there. Flicked on from Masik as Akamondo and Munich did well in the first half, particularly Dylan Munich. He does brilliantly again. Flicked on by Luke Berardi. Dylan Munich slices this one away. Here's Vasquez. Pintado, Riga, great little one-two with Pintado, chipped in behind, Feltman could be there. 
And this one's out wide now. Feldman will have to chase. Played long. Arbelias is in there. A commando just does enough. It's Ch Ch Chia, and that's off his hand. Chris Ch Chia, the man with five goals and one assist this year. But that time comes off his hand. It's a free kick for the Red Devils. Them three, Ch Chia, Masik, and Arbelias, the men to watch out for for the Blue Devils up top as they're mainly in this 4-3-3 formation. And them three up there are the ones that really you would expect where the goals would come for these Blue Devils. Oh, 100%. And despite the fact that the goals have been spread apart this whole team all season long, they've been truly the most dominant force for this Blue Devil squad. Armitage now looked a little shaky in the first half. Didn't make some good saves, though, however. But certainly can he will know he can play a little bit better. He did do good, though. And has a clean sheet, so that's really all that matters. Callum Armitage has made 76 saves in 16 games played so far this year. Vasquez chasing. Had one decent chance off a of volley in the first half. The man with 15 goals and 6 assists, but nothing really after that. Murta defended well in the first half, and he's continued it here in the second half in that left-back position, Kevin Murta. And Adams, once again, a player to look out for. Played great in the first half, the reason why the Red Devils are up 1-0 here. Looking to make his mark in the second half as well here. Three go away. It's Tompkins. We'll get on it again. Confident play here by the Blue Devils out from the back. And they still carry. No one pressing there for the Red Devils. And it's Munich. I went very low for that. Volley in there. It was Blake with the volley and slices that Whoa. one away. Whoa! That was completely out of pocket there by... It's Mike Blake there. Looks like maybe it was a little bit of a momentum, so that's maybe why the ref lets him off the hook, but you think Blake probably knew what he was doing there. I definitely saw some ill intention there by Mike Blake, and no bias there. But put it out all the side. That just looked very vile. Vasquez, great take by him. Here's Perrin. Lovely touch by Zach Perrin. Plays this one out. Here's Ben Feldman. Friedberg. And does brilliantly to defend that one there. It's not even a bad ball by Zach Perrin, but a great read by Ryan Friedberg. The Cornell commit. Blake in there again. Towards Abelias. Nearly on that Matias Abelias. Feldman plays this one down the line. Vasquez. Great turn by the Copa man. Here's Evan Vasquez. Chips that one in. It's cut out there. By Charlie Lanuzzi for the Blue Devils. I think it was offsides there on Arbelias. And it will be a free kick for the Red Devils. Akamondo. And Take Vasquez, once again, Vasquez, with the patience to let the play develop and find himself a man. And even though the spot was not quite on the target he intended for, he still made a play that was seemingly out of nothing. That's Arbelias. Tries to combine there. Chichia couldn't quite get there. Sariga pressing again. Lanuzzi and Pentado. I think he's upset, but certainly didn't really play the ball on this. Lanuzzi will win the free kick there for the Red Devils. As Riga telling him to get back. Vasquez now will press. It's Blake again. Yeah, Riga showing the leadership Fisher. there. Perrin pressing. That's out for a throw-in for the Red Devils. Amazing press to the sideline there to get possession back for the Red Devils. And just under eight minutes here played in this first half, second half, excuse me, and the energy is basically right where they picked off. And uh, both teams are swinging back and forth here. The momentum has not stayed on one side of the field. Merta, long throwing down the line. Sparardi appeared to slip there. And now it's the Blue Devils the other way with Chichia. He'll turn to keep this one in. As Chris Chichia will drive. Goes for the shot. 
and deflects off Luke Perotti. Another badge play there. And the man for the badge, Luke Perotti, and that goes into the hands of Callan Armitage. Armitage, long punt away towards Riga. Has this one for Berardi. Vasquez flicks this one, but it can only find Richardi. Back for Friedberg, who puts this one into Rosie. Munitz heads away. And Lanuzzi with the throwing now. Missed opportunity there by the Blue Devils. Lanuzzi looked like he was back for a give and go. Yeah, it was not the it's a good throw in there by Lanuzzi, but they couldn't quite keep it. Now playing him behind Arbelias. They defended him really well, Matias Arbelias, in this first, sorry, second half. And they'll win the goal kick here. Armitage to take. And here he goes long. Not his best clearance. It's Berardi that just does enough. And he goes down. Somehow doesn't get the free kick. It's Murtaugh away. Definitely not sure why Berardi didn't get the call there, but it's been very chippy like this since the beginning of the first half, and still, once again, not another call on that play. It looks like Coach Santo on the sideline for the Red Devils. Now, he was away scouting the Elizabeth and Scotts Plains Fanwood game for the Red Devils. Also, JV coach, Coach Woody there as well. And, of course, Coach Kufel, Coach Amayan, Coach Smith, all there for the Red Devils, supporting them here tonight, and they've needed every bit of support and energy they could get to try to hang on to this 1-0 lead. Long ping in this time. Murtaugh away. Vasquez. Great flick to find Ben Feldman. And his touch was a little long. But he will win the throw in. Ben Feldman now leaves it for Kevin Murtaugh's Colin Adams. Looks like he's ready to check into this one. Murtaugh long throwing down the line. Vasquez. Feldman. Vasquez. Great defending there by Noah Fisher. Clears it long now. The Blue Devils the other way. Be a throw for them again. It's Anthony Basio that won it for the Blue Devils. It's towards him again off his chest. Great touch there by Riccardi. Sorry, Ricciardi. And now it's Pintado pressing. And he goes. Pass to Alejandro Pintado. What a pass for Vasquez. But he was offside. And it was Friedberg that claimed regardless. And they'll just play advantage as Tompkins will control. Pintado just. And Pintado he just great patience keep there. that one in. It's Pintado, just his ability, his athleticism, so strong, so comfortable on the ball, and drives, skips by two, and then almost creates the ball there for Evan Vasquez. But Friedberg very quick to come off his line, and Coach Smith. Sticking with Berardi and Pintado in the midfield, so no place for Zach Perrin as Colin Adams comes into this game. Not not really anything that Zach Perrin's doing wrong. He's just something that Coach Smith wants to go for in the center of the park. Marta chasing this one down. Did beautifully to get his body in. The man with the Luka Modric hair, Kevin Marta on the far side. It'll be a Blue Devils throwing. Oh, sorry, a Red Devils throwing. Yeah, both teams have seemed to sort of settled in here in this second half so far, but the aggressiveness has just completely rose up in these last three minutes. Cook warming up on the far side now. He played well in the first half. Looks like Thomas Schreiber there as well with Nick Patel and Brandon Michaels. Again, Thomas Schreiber, a little bit of an ankle knock in the first half. Great ping 
However, that by Joey Akamanda for Fellman. His touch was slightly long. And he wins the free kick. The number nine for the Red Devils. Yeah, Feldman, great sell there. Way to get the ball back for the Red Devils here as they once again try to tack on another goal here, which would be huge in this second half if they could add a bit of a cushion here against Westfield, who is quite the deadly squad, if you ask me, on the offensive end. Definitely for sure. Riga, ping. Riga, sorry, flick that one forward. It's Friedberg to control. He's confident with the ball. Friedberg, you can tell with the little fakes he does. And now out towards... Inuzi off his chest. Second touch, however, let him down. It's Berardi. Guess that went away. Flicked on by Pintado. He'll get it again. Colin Adams lost it, however. Played in long. It's Armitage. Can claim with no issues. And Armitage so much more solid here in this second half so far. Obviously hasn't faced a lot of pressure, but he's definitely looking a lot less shaky than the beginning of the first half. Hopefully for his case, sticks that way for the rest of the match here. Vasquez in behind, gets the better of Ian Uzi. Whips this one in. No one there though for the Red Devils. He's Feldman. This well to control. And as Pintado tried to go for the L and couldn't get it. Oh. Come at the foul and now we'll see what the referee does talking to him. I couldn't quite see what happened on the ground. Looks like there was a bit of a tussle, though. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a push there by the Blue Devil defender. I couldn't quite see the number, but definitely not a pretty exchange there between the two. Akamondo away again. Again, Schreiber goes for a little bit of a jog. Tompkins. Riga gets the instructions to cover line. Adams pressing. Cruzier. Great turn there. And now they're away. The Blue Devils control again. That's Blake. Tompkins. Is Ian Newsy out wide? Blake again. Here's Tompkins. Richardi out on that far side. Crozier tries to work down the line. Can only win the throw in. Haven't seen too much of Arbelias in this second half as Cook comes into the game for Ben Feldman to put in another good shift. Thrown in long again. Akamondo away. Great defending by Joey Accomando. Here's Cook. For Colin Adams, flicks this one on. Vasquez, what a touch that is. Evan Vasquez again, little touch and tackle action. Won't quite get it though, he's Colin Adams. Pings hits one in behind for Riga, and that one's out of play. And Adams just got a little too much on that one. Got a little too excited. It was Nick Riga didn't quite keep the width there for the Red Devils. It would have been a good ball if he was just a little wider. But once again, Vasquez making a great play there out of nothing for the Red Devils. And he's really been setting up a lot of these plays here for the Red Devils, a lot of these opportunities. And it shows that he's much more of a team player rather than just the leading scorer for this squad. He's Mastic back in the game for the Red Devils. Pintado. Riga. Colin Adams just brilliantly. Pintado. And Adams just looking for a call here. He's been looking for that all game. Here's Nick Riga. Does well. Friedberg has no trouble claiming. Yeah, Friedberg showing why he's going to be attending Cornell next fall. Just a sensational player all around. Here's Tompkins. Blake. Tompkins again. A little bit of an errant pass and Vasquez on it. Rockstar on, though, on that one again. Max, Max Rockstar, number 18 for the Blue Devils. That's three goals and two assists on the year. Another player.
that can certainly add threat in behind and a threat on the Red Devils goal for these this Blue Devils squad. Hurling towards Riga, flicks this one on. Pintado, Colin Adams, and tried to turn. And ref getting mad that Colin Adams kind of played that one out, but it was kind of getting a little bit of a harass there by Evan Tompkins, though. Inuzi down the line. Pintado away, no trouble. Masik again with this throw in. Certainly, he could throw him long. It's just a, with so much ease there, Andrew Masik with the throw in. So, Riga, a bit of a sliced clearance. Back to Masik. Switches the play. Cook pressing. And a good split of defenders there by Noah Fisher. He keeps going. Arbelias. Still Arbelias. Matias Arbelias down the line. And Arbelias. Went for the overhead there. Cooks away. Towards Vasquez. Ianuzi does well. However, he gives it away. Vasquez slipped at the crucial moment. Breaks for Colin Adams, but couldn't keep it for long enough. All the way back to Friedberg now. We're just about halfway through this second half. Three quarters of the way through this game. Blake will chase this one down. They couldn't keep that one in. It was Zachary Piazzili. Sorry. Prekeel trying to chase that one down there. And that's out for it. Red Devil Stone hurling to take this one long. Great spinning behind my Cook. Cook goes for the little volley. It's Friedberg that has to claim in the end. And he rolls this one out, wastes no time. Launching the attack for the Blue Devils. Ping Long towards Abelias. It's Munitz. A little aggressive, and it's Akamondo away. It's Cook. It's a throw in for the Blue Devils. Bryce, what have you made of this second half action so far? Well, as I watch this game, I continue to just see the efforts by Colin Adams continually get better and better. He's just such a dynamic player all around. And him and Vasquez have been leading the charge for this game so far. And it's been a fantastic second half, but definitely a close one. And I would not be surprised if Westfield comes back and scores soon and ties this game up. But then again, this game could go either way. Murtaugh pressing. Loses at the crucial moment. It's a commando away. Adams. Cook for Riga. Riga does brilliantly. Has Vasquez. Looks to curl it down the line. Just does enough. Evan Vasquez has two in to aim for. Goes for Cook. Great take by him. Here's Adam Cook. Played out wide. Vasquez. One touch back for Berardi. Calm play from him. Out for Riga now on this left-hand side. He tries to split two. Didn't quite come off. Now this one has to be cleared along there by Fisher. Munitz just does enough. Just about 18 minutes left to play here in this match here as Haran Central trying their hardest to close in here in a victory here today at Stewart Field. But it's definitely going to be a close one till the end. Murtaugh down the line. For Colin Adams, gets his body in really well. It's a great turn, lovely bit of play. Here's Nick Riga. Colin Adams showing his quality with the little nutmeg there. Just didn't break, however, for Nick Riga. Murtaugh, great defending from him. And they're calling this a blue devil ball here. I will last look to take that one quickly, but he'll. But back to Colin Adams, the ball handling skills by him is just so immaculate. He Very silky on his he Shows excellence every time he takes the field and he's just such an underrated player for this Red Devil squad and it's no surprise why he's made such great impact on this team in this game so far. And he reminds me of Ricardinho a lot. One of the best futsal players ever to do it. Portuguese international and just his control on it. He uses his soul brilliantly. It's just 
It's almost like it's glued to him at times. It's great to watch him play. Hurling with the throw in. And Hurling giving his team a bit of a bit of a mouthful there as he's a bit frustrated with how the communication's been. Shriver will try it now with a little bit of the ankle problem. Hurling in the ghosted point ones, throws this one long. Shriver flicks it on. Vasquez chases. Friedberg all the way away towards Abelias. Colin Adams towards Cook. Berardi chasing. Great challenge there by Luke Berardi. And here's Thomas Schreiber. His touch a little long. It's Vasquez. Looks to open his legs. His touch. Couldn't quite get around the corner there. The moon in the Vapor 14, Evan Vasquez. Vasquez has just been all over the field tonight. Such a dynamic player as well. Pintado away. Colin Adams as well. Munitz. Goes long. And what will do for the Red Devils. Just trying to get it away from the goal. They haven't had too much looks at goal. The game really been played in their half a lot this second half. They kind of had some opportunities, but really haven't been able to make too much impact on the goal. Do you think that they can add a second one here, Bryce? I think it all depends on the play here of Vasquez and Riga. Riga has had a lot of opportunities here in the second half as well as the end of the first half here, and it's all about ball control and patience here. Schreiber, his first touch was poor. That's I think massive. Schreiber as well, as well as that ankle can hold up. I think he can make an impact as well with the length and speed he has. Well, they're certainly warming up some players. It looks like Ryan Norbush warming up. Zach Perrin, Ben Feldman, Matt Davis, I think. Could be Amin Sabawe. Yeah. Can't quite tell. It, it but a bunch of players warming up, though. Definitely seems like fatigue is is dooming the squad so far. And Schreiber giving it away again. He looks to be in some discomfort. Here's Cook. Cook loses it. Berardi a little late. And that was Blake on it. Whistle blown now. And Pintado takes it quick. Here's Colin Adams. I think Colin Adams stopped. He thought the ref would blow the whistle, but he just didn't realize it was in play there. But they have it again towards Vasquez, away by Tompkins. And now towards Abelias. Matias Abelias and Callan Armitage just does enough though. He's massive. Lurking. Abelias getting a sniff. He's the danger man for sure for the Blue Devils. And Armitage, what a fantastic job to pick it up here in the second half. After that first half where he looked a bit shaky, as I mentioned earlier. Just a fantastic job all around there. Anything that can get behind him here in the second half could tie the game up and send us to OT, but for now, he's been playing fantastic. That's Munitz, and they've killed that one all night. And Munitz has just played great all night. Just let that one get the best of him. It's Roxer there, drawing the foul. Free kick for the Blue Devils. It looks like Perrin come into this one. And I think it's safe to say Munitz has saved at least a pair of goals here with his defensive efforts. Yeah, he's certainly been a standout performer tonight. Such an unsung be. hero, that's for sure. Yeah, he's massive on the free kick now. Armitage sets up his wall. Masik had a hit early on in the first half. See what he does here. He goes for it again, and this time it's even higher. Oh Andrew Masik, and just couldn't keep it low enough. It's difficult there, and he tried it again. And correct me if I'm wrong, far. but I believe the football season has ended, so that is not going to be a field goal tonight. Definitely will not be a Sabawe. And Schreiber quickly comes off, clearly not working there with his ankle. Looks like Zach Perrin will slide out into this right-hand position in the front line. It's Sabawe in there. He'll probably play as a six. It's Pintado and Colin Adams in there in the midfield. And it's Zach Perrin a little bit out of position. He's playing from the right wing. It's Cook from the left wing and Evan Vasquez up top. Colin Adams still with it. And Perrin does well to press. A feather touch there by Hurling, but it was a foul, I think, or a throw in. I think it one curled out of play, and it will be Hurling on the throw. 
Perrin can't remember the last time he played right wing. But we'll see what he tries to do. Certainly not his best role, but of course a good player can play anywhere, so we'll see what he can do. This one played long. Sabawi battling. He's for the bad, Jamin Sabawi, and does brilliantly. Pintado, two captains in there. Akamondo chasing. Doesn't quite deal with it. This one breaks for Lynch. Double Elias. That's Munitz for Perrin. A little too far. Dylan Munitz again. His first touch a little bit away from him. He's Perrin on it. Gets his body in well. Plays this one long for Vasquez. Tompkins. It's called Adams. Strips him of it. Oh my goodness. Mike Blake. And ref plays advantage. He won't bring it back though, however. Was it Blake just got caught tangled where with Colin Adams? And Blake has just been violent towards Colin Adams all night. I have night. with the header and the Masik. Oh my God, he couldn't control the volley. Wow, Masik once again missing a huge opportunity here for the Westfield. Tell you what, Devils. Andrew Masik just completely gave the Red Devils a gift. I don't know how he did not score. To be quite frank, with the other opportunities he's had, and I have Elias got the flick on towards him, but he just couldn't control the volley. What a shame there for the Westfield Blue Devils. However, up in the booth, we are all <laughs> very satisfied with that. I still can't believe it, to be honest. Now, Armitage pings this one long. Pintado, Vasquez. Three captains out there on the field now for the Red Devils. All of them, definitely for the badge. Vasquez pressing. Colin Adams, brilliantly. Again from him. His pairing will press out wide. Richardi. Tompkins, Fisher, long ping forward, out wide, brilliant touch that is, Vasquez defending very deep now, Cooks the furthest man up for the Red Devils. Under 10 now here to play. And it's Arbelias, again couldn't quite keep it. Apart from that one little flicked header, haven't seen too much of Matias Arbelias in this second half. Definitely a bit of a disappointing second half here as well as Masik who's had opportunities all game long and just hasn't been able to capitalize on at least one. Armitage, long for Colin Adams. Akamondo slid in and tell you what, that could have maybe been a pen. Arbelias is yelling at the referee. I do not think Joey Akamondo got much of the ball but the ref certainly saw it differently. Zach Perrin somehow did not play like a cook. Cook was in loads of space, and Zach Perrin just never turned his head. And the refs are just not calling anything at all tonight. Tell you what, that easily could have been a penalty there. But somehow, ref says no call, no yeah, pen. Both sides have been getting a lot of no calls, especially towards the end of this first half. Excuse me, towards the end of the first half, and now towards the this, this second half. Long thrown in, Cook away. Murtaugh more convincingly, he's Colin Adams. This one breaks through. Adam Cook, Cook has Colin Adams. He'll certainly go for a ping. And that's a dot, here's Colin Adams. Long again for Vasquez. Red Devils really need to go short here, but instead they just go long. They're just trying to go too long there. Couldn't really combine and it's a goal kick and Cook. for the Blue Devils. And Cook almost had something there. Couldn't hold on to it for too long to get it to Vasquez, which would have been the most ideal play there. I tell you what, the second half has just gone by very quickly. Under 10 to play. Last time I looked up was at 15, and now under 8 now. Crazy. Cook pressing. Pure seal on it. And a man down. The Red Devils, he's grasping at it's his leg. Chardy. Masik, Perrin, Hurling. Actually never got to him. Varen couldn't quite complete the pass. Here's Richardi. Plays this one in long. It's Arbelias. And it's Armitage. Just did and enough. And if I tell you what, that ball's a little better. Arbelias is in behind. They still haven't called. Now they finally called stoppage of play here as, as no Fisher is running over to see. The man down, who's been met down for over a minute and a half now. Uh, shocker that they didn't call it earlier. Well, unless it's a head injury, ref technically doesn't have to call it. 
it's the team's action, the team's responsibility to kick the ball out of play if they think it's a serious injury or the ref could call if he really does think it's serious. But Harling running over now. But I think the Blue Devils, I can't quite see who's down. Can you see, Bryce? I, I couldn't quite see it. It might have been Pintado, but I, I, I just could not tell. Yeah, so it would be the Red Devils' responsibility to get the ball and kick that one out as quick as possible to get him treatment. It looks like Norbosh, however, will come into this game for Joy Akamanda. And the same thing happened with Dylan Muniz. He got a yellow card at the weekend against Bridgewater Raritan. And he never got back into the game, but Norbosh will get back into this one. Had to wait a long, long time, though. The rule is three minutes you have to wait if you get a yellow card. And it looks like Berardi's warming up. Feldman as well. And I think it's Cook down now on the ground. Mr. P checking him out. Great athletic trainer for the Red Devils. He's been in his time here. So back line will be Norbosh, Munitz, Murta. Oh, and Cook is just not putting any hurling. pressure on his left leg. Not a pretty sight. Definitely not. Hopefully he's okay. And, of course, Eamon Sabawi in there as a defensive midfielder. Pintado in there as a defensive midfielder. Colin Adams. Zach Perrin certainly more of a defensive player playing in the right wing role. And they have Nick Riga on the left. And Evan Vasquez, a man with 15 goals and 6 assists up top. He certainly would be a good outlet for them if they can get it to him. And Armitage plays this one long. Pintado. Colin Adams got hit in the back. No call. Sabawi does brilliantly. Riga. Long touch. That one's out for Red Devils throwing. I definitely got to say this action has picked up within this last 10 minutes here. Westfield does not want to go out without a fight, that's for sure. Both teams trying to tack on a goal here. And it's been very evenly matched other than the Hunter and Central goal here. It's just been very back and forth. Yeah, it can make an argument that Westfield's actually unfortunate to be down in this one. It's Friedberg, a little air on the pass, and it's Richardi. Couldn't keep that one in hurling. And you cannot have Over mistakes take like this that. Throwing. Cannot at all, especially this late into the game. Uh, I think maybe in a couple minutes, Red Devils will look to just keep this one in the corner and try to see this one out, but maybe try to push for a second here. Great oh. throwing in for Perrin towards Colin Adams off the chest. Couldn't hold it, however. Munitz. It's beaten to it by Masik. As Norbosh hasn't seen the game in a while. He's Arbaleas. Arbaleas. Norbosh. Oh, such an brilliantly. athletic play there by Norbosh. Norbosh, a freak athlete himself, just making such an amazing play there. Very strong, very quick, very tall. And uses every inch he has there, Ryan Norbosh, to get that one away. Corner now for the Red. Sorry, the Blue Devils. Whipped in. Everyone leaping, could break maybe. And again, it's uh, it bounces again. Murtaugh defending, played in. And that one will go into the side netting. It'll be Armitage goal kick here. And Armitage was all over that one, wasn't getting anything behind him there. Now it's Berardi coming in for Colin Adams. So w very defensive in the center of the park. They have Three defensive midfielders, Sabawi, Berardi, and Pintado all in there. And of course, Zach Perrin, and maybe you argue he's a defensive player as well in there off the right. So here's Evan Vasquez. Berardi, Coach Smith really trying to see this one out. Berardi for Vasquez, great take by him. Pintado, the captain's combining. Has Perrin out wide. He'll control. Long ping, Vasquez. He'll go to work, doesn't really have numbers. See if he just keeps this one in the corner flag, and that's exactly what he does. Trying to kill as much time as he can, Evan Vasquez. Two comes now towards him. It's out, and Raf says goal kick. And that brings it way below. Five minutes left to play here in this game. Smart move by Vasquez to just hold on to it. Very using, defensive mindset using there. Using all of his experience on Tompkins. He'll drive. Pings it long. So it's Masik. Breaks for Lynch. Couldn't find Arbaleas, however. Cleared long by Hurling. Tompkins will chase. For Friedberg. Fisher now. Masik. 
Back for Fisher. Has Arbeleas in there. Whips it in. Couldn't front Chichia though. Riga and Friedberg will read this one and clear that one away. It was Vasquez who was well offside. So they'll get a free kick here late on in the second half. Tension just continues to build up here and this one's not going out without being dramatic, that's for sure. As Rockshire gets the ball back to the spot will be offsides. It'll be Friedberg who can certainly launch these ones in. Looks like he'll take that and he'll get everyone up the pitch. And the Cornell commit will try to salvage the season for the Red Devils. As Hurling goes over to the side. I think he's having a bit of a conversation or something. He's coming off now for Brandon Michaels. So they look to get a little bit of height onto the field. Brandon Michaels has not seen the field in the second half. Played almost, played a large part in the first half though. Feldman still warming up and it's Friedberg. Who just plays this one short. It's Blake. Blake plays it back out for Fisher. Now they play it in. Perrin, not the best clearance. This one played in, and it will roll out for a throw-in, actually, for the Red Devils. Uh, if it's deflected, it will be a Blue Devils throw-in. Just three minutes left to play here in this match. Red Devils still looking to close it out here. But the Blue Devils adding a bit of intensity late. They do not want to go out just yet. So now, Hurling comes back into this one for Brandon Michaels. I don't really know why Michaels came in for the short period he was in for, but he just came in and immediately back out. I think maybe they want to talk over something with Hurling. It's Perrin flicks it on. And now Michaels in a bit of conversation with the coaches on the far side. It's in there for Chichia. Does well to get it in, Munich's away. And now is Raksha. Rockstar in there. Now is Max Rockstar. Corner oh, kick awaits here. Corner kick and Max Rockstar to take this one. Huge and Everyone back for the Red Devils. And everyone up for Westfield except for their goalkeeper, Ryan Friedberg. And again, Max Rockstar will do it again. Clock at exactly 2.30 here. Could be one of the last opportunities the Blue Devils see here that is clear as day. If they can get one late here, probably would see it out in a 1-1. We would probably be going to extra time, but we'll see what happens. That's Roxar with the corner. A long wait. Whips this one in. Rigo away, still in there. Not quite cleared yet. Ricciardi's onto this one. All the way back for Friedberg. Long ping in by him. Sabawi does well. Still in there. Chichia. That one's played in by Tompkins. It's Armitage. We'll just hold it for a couple of seconds now. Armitage did not come to play around here in this second half. Armitage away. Vasquez. Riga. He beats Friedberg. Zach Perrin. Oh, this is it for the Red Devils. Zach Perrin. What a finish. And that will do it here. Zach Perrin made it so easy there by Nick Riga. Nick Riga is fifth assist of the year. Zach Perrin is fifth goal of the year. And a man that deserves it. Zach Perrin, what a finish that was. And it's Friedberg that came out, gambled, and it's Zach Perrin that just does enough and gives the Red Devils a 2-0 lead here late in the second half. Oh and that should definitely goodness. see them through to the final. Zach Perrin, the sensational sophomore, does he here tonight at Stewart Field. And Central is up 2-0 now, and they will be heading to the final. Now it's fair to say Zach Perrin didn't play as much as he would like tonight. Didn't play in his favorite position tonight. Probably not one of his best performances, but he's there when it mattered most. 
to give his team a 2-0 lead. And that, is a and that shows his true there. character, Zach Perrin. Just a great player, a great guy, and he gets the goal there to ice it late for the Red Devils now. Nick Riga, fifth assist on the year, his first start back from his little illness. Zach Perrin, fifth goal on the year. What a season he's had. And he'll surely send this one through, send the Red Devils into the final. As we're just about a minute left here in the second half. Masik throws this one in Roy DeLapp style. Friedberg still up there. Played in Friedberg leaps. This one hit in low towards Armitage. And it's one's pushed in. No offsides. And now the flag goes up. That was very late. And it was Derek Azevedo with the shot. And it was deflected a couple of times, and then I was poked in. I'm not sure who poked it in, but the refs now talking to each other. So if if it's a deflection by the Red Devils, they would have to decide if that's intentional. If that's an intentional touch, then all offside would be chopped off. So you could literally be standing on the goal line and get the goal in if if it was a touch off the Red Devils. If it wasn't a touch off the Red Devils, then they have to decide if the player that touched the ball in was in an offside position or if someone was impeding Armitage's sign of vision. And it looks like they're going to say that it was. I think they're saying this was a goal here. And there's so huge implications. I'm not sure who scored it to be honest with you. I think, I think it was number nine, Zachary Prayer sealed, but I'm not sure. So as it stands, Zach Perrin's goal is the winner for the Red Devils. But I'm not quite sure. It looks like so. A little bit of late game drama yeah, here. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. I, a little bit of confusion. A little bit of drama. All what we like to see here. Everyone on the edge of the sheets, but in the fingernails. And so it will be Luke Berardi to take this. They still have the three defensive mids in there. Basically a back five. Nick Riga is basically playing left wing back. Zach Prance starting in the midfield and. and Really, All of a Luke Berardi just up there, and Luke Berardi very clever there, offsetting it. Berardi just messing around at this point. Pintado wasn't the best setback from him. He plays it long. Perrin battles with Richardi. I think he touched it with his hand, but they'll give it a throw. Richardi now. Middle left. Friedberg here. certainly could ping him. He does it again. All the way in now. Nick Riga falls, no call somehow. Free kick, it was off his hand. Last chance here, Friedberg's up, everyone's up for Westfield. Season on the line here. This one's in, Armitage in there, Friedberg off his hand. And he think I thought he was playing goalie. And now uh, another stoppage of play it was Friedberg that just just, I think, you know, does play goalie, caught the ball, and couldn't quite do that in the other team's box, however. Free kick now for Armitage. Just a lot of late game drama here. Kyle Armitage, long ping forward towards Perrin. Tompkins battling, Richardi away. And that one's a foul there on Evan Vasquez. Not neat, very, very clumsy by Evan Vasquez. It's another chance for the Red Devils. As they look to get this one forward, it's Friedberg. Clock stopped at 25.4. And he will put everything he has into this one. Evan Vasquez is the one man wall. What a nail biter here to end this. The parent goal just seems so much more necessary now as this added a huge cushion. Friedberg now, refs again stopping it in long conversation. The Cornell commit to save his high school career. Long ping in towards Armitage. He comes in, punches it away. Blake back in there. Back into it again. Masik wins it and it's Armitage that cup holds on it. And that should do it for the Red Devils. Callan Armitage will hold. And he'll punt this one up. He holds it, dribbles, and releases. And the Red Devils will win this one tonight. Zach Perrin with the winner.
Colin Adams with the opening goal. It's Ben Feldman with the assist. What a performance overall by the Red Devils tonight, and that will see them through to the final. What did you make of it tonight, Bryce Cohen? Man, Tyler, what a fantastic game. The central crowd is giving it up to the, the boys soccer team here, and what a fantastic back and forth action here. Upsetting loss for the Westfield Blue Devils, but I thought the Red Devils played one of their best games of the season here. They stuck with it, they were patient, and overall, they stuck with it through the whole game, and Perrin was the one that got them up 2-0, and even though they gave up a late goal, to give it up to 2-1. Yeah. Both teams played fantastic, but the Red Devils just showed what they're made of, character, patience, and they stuck with it. Well, Perrin, Perrin had the moment of the match, but I think the man of the match for me with the best performance on the night was Dylan Munitz. Without oh, him yeah. playing at the back, I mean, they could have conceded three or four. The amount of challenges he made to save it for them, and I think Dylan Munitz for me really was the man of the match tonight for the Red Devils. Selfless player, selfless player. He did everything he could in his power on defense, and he did a fantastic job. So stay tuned now, Dylan Munitz. Bryson, Bryce, would you agree, man of the match, Dylan Munitz? Yes, 100%. Munitz, man of the match. Adams, one of the fantastic playmakers of the match. I mean, there's too many to choose from. You can do Perrin, you can do Armitage, you can do Adams, Munitz. But we will speak to Dylan Munitz in a little bit, in a, sorry, in a little bit with an interview here to talk about this brilliant performance tonight by the Red Devils. So stay tuned for that. But overall, great performance here under the lights at Stewart Field. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please direct your attention to midfield. At this time, we would like to take a moment to congratulate and thank our head coach, Anson Smith. With tonight being the potential final time leading our varsity boys program onto Stewart Field. We'd like to thank Coach Smith for his dedication to our program over the last 13 seasons. He has always encouraged his players and built outstanding young men th through the sport of soccer. Although players have come and gone, his relationships he has built with his teams is, are, is everlasting. Coach Smith has accomplished so much, including six HWS championships, five group four sectional titles, and two Group 4 championships. We congratulate him on a wonderful career and wish him the best as the, as the new Vice Principal at Hopewell Valley High. Good luck on bringing home the sectional title on Thursday. Congratulations to Coach Anson Smith. What a great job he's done over the years, especially this year, the way they started the year and how they've grown as a team is kudos to Coach Smith and to this special team he's put together this year. Congratulations, Coach Smith and Hunter and Central Red Devil boys soccer team. Let's go win this thing on Thursday. Nice job, Coach Smith and Red Devil soccer team. Great job.
I'm joined by Dylan Munich tonight, the man of the match, put in a 10 out of 10 performance. Dylan, what made your performance so good tonight? You look, your challenges were really, you timed everything really well. You look just brilliant tonight. What do you think worked so well for you tonight? Uh, definitely mindset. You know, I, all school today, I was not really paying attention. You know, I was focused solely on this game today. I knew it was going to be the biggest game of our, of our season so far. We know we had to come out like dogs, and we did just that. Came home with the win today. What do you make with the crowd tonight? I know you a lot of times advertise the games, tell people to come out. It was a great showing. It was great energy here tonight at Stewart Field. What did you make of that? The environment is truly pushes us to be our best. You know, everyone, every single one of them, I'm so happy they come out because they're all great. They all push us to be our best. So now you have Elizabeth on Thursday. What will the preparation be like that, be for that game? I don't want to overthink it. I just want to go in just like another game. You know, today we came out. We played like our absolute best. So I want to come out with that mindset. Just as, it's just another game. We're going to come out and do the same we always do, win. Dylan, thank you so much for joining us. Great performance by you tonight, and we look forward to seeing you play on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight on this showing of HGTV. Tune in tomorrow for the girls' game as they play Westfield also in the semifinals. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in. Thank you for everyone here on HUTV, and have a great night.